back of two good wins last weekend, you must be feeling very good about how last weekend went for you. Yeah, I think the key thing for me was just really happy for the guys because they've been putting in that um, that that work. Um, it's a it's a start, and um, we, we hopefully can build on that and continue to get some good results. Um, if we think back to Worcester first of all, it was a very tight game on the road. I mean, what do you think won it for you? Um, you know, the, I think the guys stuck together. Obviously, you know, Teo had a brilliant performance, um, but everybody chipped in where they needed to, and um, that's that. That was um, key for us. You know, we we had that game plan that that involved Ryan, and then unfortunately, Ryan's um, calf was a little tight, so he couldn't go, and so we had to adjust on the fly. And um, you know, credit to the, all the guys that they, they made their contributions, and not an easy place to go, but we, we get we got the win. And then thinking to the Plymouth game, obviously you've mentioned before that you need to start a bit faster and you certainly did that against Plymouth, you had a 21 point lead at the half, I mean is that something that you planned because obviously where they played the day before as well just to get out running? Yeah, we, we always talk about um, trying to start as quick as possible, We've everybody's seen what's happened with our slow starts, we finished strong, I think uh, we turned the game on the hit this time, started really fast and then we kind of like started over the finishing line but I think we had done enough in the first half to, to give us that um, little bit of leeway or um, opportunity to, you know, or the, the points difference in, in order to get the win. So, um, happy with the way we started and obviously we'll try and improve on, on how we close out. And then heading into this weekend, you've, you've set yourself up nicely. It's whoever wins progresses to the quarterfinals. I mean, do you think you've, you've got a very good chance against the Lions? Yeah, I think a couple of weeks ago, nobody gave us a chance of being in this um, position. So credit to the guys getting these two wins has put us right there. So um, it's kind of like, a, I would say, around 16 games, so to speak, to get to the final eight. And um, we have to go there and just, you know, give it our all. You know, it's not going to be easy. Lions, uh, I think they've turned the corner. We know what talent they have. And um, hopefully, we, you know, we can turn up with a fully fit team. And as you mentioned, obviously they do have some new players now, but of course you're going into this game with Ryan, who you didn't have last time you played Lions. Do you think that will kind of change the dynamic of the game compared to your previous meeting? I think so. I think, you know, any time you can have a, a play of um, Ryan's um, ability um, on your team makes a big difference, you know. And so for the, for the time that we do have Ryan, obviously we want to um, utilize him as much as we possibly can, play through him. And, um, you know, he, he's not selfish. Um, he's just trying to play a role to help us win games. So that makes it a whole lot easier for us. And on a personal note, are you excited about the prospects of playing a knockout game so whoever wins progresses? It's, it's a bit unique to have it so early in the season. Yeah, I, I think everybody looks at me as this grumpy, angry guy. Um, I'm not really that grumpy and angry. It's just I get locked up in the season and I just want to win so bad. So yeah, it comes down to the last, you know, uh, 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 winner, winner advances, you know, and um, that's what cup competitions are about. So, you know, hopefully we, we, we take our A game there and uh, can upset them on their, on their home floor. And just uh, from an injury standpoint, is there any update on uh, on Jeremy or anything like that going into this? Um, yeah, I think we are where we are. You know, guys are pretty battered up. I think everybody saw, you know, Skylar White played a hell of a game for us, but he kind of like was carrying a bit of a dead leg, you know. Um, so we're working on that to get him fit in time. Um, Ryan and Henry are just a, a little bit under the weather, so they haven't trained. So hopefully um, we'll be able to get them back on the court as soon as possible. But we go there with who we have and um, we, we play the, the best possible we possibly can.